bulletin tonight with the Mutula Kilonzo autopsy. And it seems Kenyans will have to wait for over two months to find out what killed the Makueni senator. The team of pathologists who carried out the post-mortem were in agreement that the results of the analysis and tests following the autopsy could take up to 10 weeks. I came purely as an independent pathologist for the family. One thing I can say at this stage is that all of us agreed with, our find with the findings and there was no disagreement at all. It will of course take some time to actually develop the science behind this and review it. So at this stage we will have to await the outcome of medical science to determine the cause of death. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. The team of doctors I have actually mentioned we are in agreement on the uh, findings and as I said, as you have been told by Dr. Calder, it is a scientific process that will take a bit of time but eventually we will get the report. Doctor. And as my colleagues have said here, we are all in agreement of the postponer findings. Uh, we have to be patient, wait for the results and uh, we have to take some samples which uh, might take about 8 to 10 weeks. So I beg your patience for us to conclude this exercise. Let's stay with that story. The long-awaited post-mortem on the body of the late Makueni Senator Mutula Kilonzo finally took place this afternoon at the Lee Funeral Home here in Nairobi. The examination was conducted by seven pathologists, including a British forensic pathologist flown in by Mutula's family. The country now awaits the results of the autopsy, and as Rita Tinina reports, the examination took well over five hours. At the Lee Funeral Home, family and friends of the late Makueni Senator Mutula Kilonzo gathered for the autopsy to determine the cause of death of the late Senator. The autopsy was postponed on Monday to allow a pathologist from the United Kingdom to arrive in the country to take part in the autopsy. The pathologist, Dr. Calder Ian Madison, arrived in the country at 6.20 a.m. The pathologist was given a 10-month work permit by the medical practitioners and dentists board. We had to process the proper documents which are required by a foreigner to perform any duties, any kind of duties in terms of medication, whether it is postmortem or what, the, it must be cleared by the government and more so the department of medical practitioners. Dr. Calder Ian Madison was later in the day to join another team of six pathologists led by the chief government pathologist Johansen Odor. The seven pathologists kicked off the autopsy some minutes to 2 p.m. The process was witnessed by, among others, the late Mutula's son, Mutula Kilonzo Jr., the family doctor, Lucas Musao, as well as a doctor from the Machakos Level 5 Hospital. Initially, it was expected that the autopsy would take between one and a half and two hours, but ended up taking close to five hours. The late Makueni Senator Mutula Kilonzo was found dead in his bed at his man's only home on Saturday. He will be buried next week on Thursday.